temptation. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented it. Being negative when you should be getting after it. I got facts over facts over tracks, this and that, spitting slow, spitting fast, I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past and the pettiness, of reflection of the emptiness, hilarious, you think you're with my time, you're delirious, mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior, inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior, get off of me, this ain't no humble brag, I want you to hear words, you can say them back, I want you to feel free from the chains at last, and to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah. Now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Consequence of being incompetent Mental health is confidence Dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day That's for you to take away I could play a million mind games But instead I say Something not illogical Something that is topical Rub it on and watch it go Make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible But they're always possible If you just believe You could be so remarkable Thoughts in my head A collage and they spread I'll be great one day Going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up No, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top Taking off in the wind I gotta make it. I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages A bacon, modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been Thank you all for tuning in to your favorite channel, Pelican Bay Dog Talk and News for the day. Giving it to you the way I always do, fair and unbiased. Some gonna like it, some ain't. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to drop down in the comments like you always do. Salute to all the Bulldogs from one side of the world to the other side of the world, from one side of the country to the other side of the country. Salute to all the Bulldogs down in the chat as well. You know, I'm uh, down in the chat as well. You know, I told you I had to break this interview up into two. So uh, I gave you the first half. I'm going to give you the second half now. Um, I do want to say uh, salute again to all the Bulldogs down in the chat. Um, this, this, I'm going to say it like this right here, you know, to start this interview off. You know, um, this isn't a, 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 a real opinionated interview when i say that i don't mean from the brother i'm interviewing i mean this is not really an interview where we worrying about your opinion when i say that i mean you know uh we giving it to you you can you can like it or you not like it one or the other you know um it's not a, it's not an interview where we you know looking for certain people opinions on certain things you know what i'm saying we just giving it to you and and if you do you like it you like it you don't you don't you know how you doing today bro hey what's going on bro ain't too much man ain't too much ain't too much can you, can you hear me better this time so we don't get no complaints yes sir yes sir i got you yeah. loud and clear man got you loud and clear. i, I want to make sure i step my mic game up i know that was one of the comments <laughs> hey we hey we got it bro we got it yes sir and man. i want to say one more thing real quick, if you don't mind Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Big Dog. I got several people that are wanting me to talk to them and do an interview with them. And this is exclusively for you and no one else. So Man. anybody else who wants to interview, they ain't getting it. They better call you and, and talk to you about it. Hey, I appreciate that, man. They ain't going to call me because they got too much pride to call. You know. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll let you know. You know, they'll just try to do the same thing. And the thing about it, you know, a lot of brothers might try to do the do the same thing, but it, it just I don't know. Everybody do what they do, man. I'm just gonna leave it like that. As far as you know, what I'm saying everybody can do what they do. You know what I'm saying? Um, you you know, 
I appreciate well, I appreciate I appreciate everything you said though on your behalf. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I appreciate everything you say. And I do want to say this, you know what I'm saying? Um, with anything we talk about, man, I want to make sure that you know I want you to be comfortable with anything you say. I don't want you to talk about nothing that's gonna make you feel uncomfortable, nothing that's gonna make it feel too personal or anything like that. Nothing. Just mm -hmm. be, you know, you can say what you want to say, but just be comfortable. And you know what I'm saying? Don't put yourself far as in an uncomfortable situation. You know what I'm saying? For the okay. interview. You know what I'm saying? Because these bulldoggers, they're gonna be, you already know it, they're gonna be here when we we long, long dead and gone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So uh we're gonna give them that dog talk though. But um, I just had to say that, man, because I wanted to say, you know, um uh, keep the brothers like what you was talking about, you know, because they felt like you was being honest and sincere. And the thing it is, we want to keep that on that same level. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, we know, and I'm gonna say it like this, because I got a couple questions to ask you. You know what I'm saying? And, okay. and and I don't want brothers to feel like, oh, you answering these questions because you don't like Tan or you got a problem with Tan or you beef with him. See, I want you to be able to answer these questions, even though you 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 know you have feelings towards him, but answer the questions honestly. I will. You know what I'm saying? And I, I know you will, though. I know you will. I'm just, yeah. you know, expressing that, expressing that to the people that's listening to it now to let them know how we getting down on this. Listen, go listen. Ahead. Let me, let me, let me go ahead and touch on what you just said. So look, go ahead. so we're talking about 20 years ago. You know what I mean? Like, so even though I feel the way I feel about them, we're talking about dogs. You know what I'm saying? Like, just oh, like yeah. you said. Oh, yeah. What he did to me personally is what he did to me personally, but I'm not doing a personal interview on what he did to me. I'm doing what he did to me. So, you know, as far as liking, if you remember in the part, I told him that at one point in time that he was a you know? and, and I did mean, I mean, I mean, want to interrupt you real quick, but you break all the last thing you said for the last 15 seconds is breaking up on us. All right, what about now? Better? Is that better? Yeah, you good. Yeah, you good. Okay. So, what I was what I was saying was, you know, what he did to me personally. This isn't a personal interview, and what he did to me is what he did to the dog world. So, you know, lying or not being honest or whatever about certain things would be me being that asshole that's deceiving the dog world. You know what I'm saying by answering false questions because that put me in the same category. Whether you know what I mean. So, yeah. I've got no reason to none, none whatsoever. Yeah. Yep, and yep, yep. you know, at one point, I loved a man like 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 a brother. But you know what I mean. And I'm not I'm not gonna hate on him. I'm gonna give you you know give it to you how how, how it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And that's that's I want to make a, another statement. You know, before we get deep into this thing, you know that that plays a part. And then how treating people right, it, it all plays a part. And treat treating people right the first time you meet them. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, I. Uh, one thing we, we got to be honest with each other, you know what I'm saying? And this is like Zrichia, you know. Uh, I, I don't really care when I say this. I mean, whether you said the N word or not, or whether I said the C word or not, it's not, it don't really matter. What matters to me is how you treat me as a person, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know what I'm saying? How you treat me when I'm in front of you. All right. When I, with that being said, you know what I'm saying? And Treat me like a man when I'm around you. You know what I'm saying? And never treat me less. With that being said, I do want to acknowledge the dog man that I came around. You know what I'm saying? The older dog man. And I say older. I want to say older because, you know, uh, a lot of the older brothers was living in times where we were different. You know what I'm saying? So okay. I'm talking about, like, when I say Mr. Claude Puckett. You know what I'm saying? He When he brought me to his house, when I came to his house, it was no money involved. He maybe thought he was going to sell a dog, but it was not. It was no money involved. He treated me like I wanted to be treated. You know what I'm saying? And, and then when I called years later and he was in the nursing home and I talked to his wife, she was talking to me and I'm talking about she was just as humble and just as nice as she was the day I met her. And that was probably 15 years later. You know, and when people treat you good throughout life, you, you could talk about it. And, and, and it ain't all about, uh, you know, the bad stuff all the time. But with somebody like mm -hmm. this brother, with somebody like this brother, it need to be brought to the forefront. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, right. not sure if you, I'm not sure if you met um, the pecan man. 
Mr. Mac Booth. Um, he 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 treated me like he brought me in. We sat on the porch and just talked about dogs for hours and hours and hours. You know, um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Raven, he was good dog man. The man who uh Cruz got Rocky from. You yep, Cruz. Um, that was a, that was a, that was a very good dog. Four out, four out, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah good dog. Now the man he got him from. You know, uh, I know him personally pretty good, and he was a great man to me. You know what I'm saying? And the thing I and, and what I want to say, I'm saying this before because people have ways they act around other people. You know what I'm saying? But I can't really hold that against them. I can only hold what how they treat me. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Um, and when it comes to walking out, them, they, I done heard all different kind of little stories about them boys. But when a lot of these, a lot of my black brothers was, um, you know, not necessarily um uh kicking me to the curve or nothing like that but just when you needed something or you need this or you need that nobody nobody's around to give it to you welcome okay. out welcome out put me on my feet gave me you know what I'm saying gave me food to put in my you know what I'm saying my pocket money to put in my pocket working for it you know what I'm saying like a man okay. treat me like treat me like a man you know what I'm saying and, okay. and one thing about it it ain't no days it ain't no time going where you're gonna always have everything up you're gonna have ups you're gonna have downs you know what I'm saying um, but the thing about it, when a man know he's being treated like a man, he ain't got no other complaints about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and I just had to talk about that because all them old school dog men and all them know the brother who we talking about now. You know what I'm saying? And we ain't going to use no excuses for brothers being old to say, oh, they treat this person like this or this person like that. Because like I said, uh, I'm coming to these brothers yards and houses. Yeah, they might be. I I don't know what it, what kind of association they tied up with, but when they see me and they talk to me with, with no money involved, they treating me good. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, um, you know, I just wanted to, wanted to say that because I know that, like, 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 like I said in the last video, Tant probably watched this video, and I know quite sure he know Mr. Claw Puckett, he know Mr. Pecan Man, he know Raven, and he know Welcome Out. So, you know, it's a shame for. You have your all your peers out here treating people like they're supposed to be treated, and then you the one out here like an asshole, um, trying to scold people, take people for money, and, and and treat people like they nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just it's just a shame, man. It's just a shame. Did you happen to see my comment where they were saying uh, when somebody had asked about him going to old man Burns' house and and putting the walking on Burns' yard and putting the uh. The, the band on, on, on the dog's nuts on another man's yard. You know what I'm saying? I commented on that. Well, what about what he did to Mr. Hollingsworth? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, I mean, he, he, when he bred, the, when, when they sent the bitch down to breed, the yellow Mayday was produced. He pretty much, I mean, held him hostage until he got another couple bands because of what he was producing. Like he, he was just an asshole like that in general. You know what I'm saying? They, they, I think they paid $3,000 more you know than the agreement was you know he was he was supposed to get a pup or whatever whatever they had agreed well Hollins was supposed to get the first the pup that he wanted david already agreed that he would take whichever and then turn around and said well you're not getting your pup till you give me i think it was i want to say three thousand dollars so he was a general asshole all the way around you know what i'm saying when i when i tell you take the money you know what i mean and and and, and, and he did that to his wife he didn't even call hollingsworth himself he called hollingsworth's wife and said if y'all want this dog or I'm keeping the dog. I need X amount more money. And they literally forked the money over to get the Mayday dog. And that was Hollinsworth Dolly. That was Dolly. When Dolly was sent down there. Yes, sir. I, I, I look, that, That's why they never did it. You ever see any other breedings uh, of a, you know, um, old man Hollinsworth to him directly? No. No. Nope. It was a bad business deal. Ba and he didn't even have the balls to do it to Mr. Hollinsworth himself. He did it to his wife. He called his wife and said, look, if y'all want the dog, he ain't getting the dog unless you do this, do that, send me X amount of money. And they had to do what they had to do to get Mayday. I'm glad they did. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, but that's what I'm saying. He wasn't just an asshole to black people. He was a, just an uh, asshole to everybody. Yeah. And period. Yeah. And, and I'm sure there's other people that know about that story. You know what I'm saying? You don't really, I don't know if you've ever heard that story, but I promise you there's other people that's heard that story and it's facts. It's not, you know, mm. it's not something that you're just making up. Oh, well, he did this or he did that. That's a factual story. And if anybody else have heard the story, I, you know, I hope they'd speak up and say, yeah, I've heard that too. But yeah, he, he pretty much held that dog hostage until they paid 
Um, he was Bell Puppy until they paid. I, 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 I don't quote me. Don't hold me to the three thousand. I'm pretty sure. I mean, you know, because uh, it could have been two. It could have been twenty five hundred. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was three thousand dollars. And that yeah. was in, and that was in two thousand. What was it? Not uh, two thousand, two thousand one, two thousand, two thousand one, somewhere around there. So you figure three thousand dollars back then is about what ten bands to us now. Yeah, that had that had been one of them later litters. Off well, off. it was the, it was the made <clears throat> it was when made it was. I don't I don't know the exact. I don't want to quote call, call dates on that because I, you know I I don't I'm not gonna say I'm familiar with the you know exactly what date, but I just know what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was May Day himself. So whatever year it was, he was born. That was in the nineties then. All right, early nineties. You know, that's, that's why I was going. Yeah, to ask yeah you. my bad. I'm way off on that one because it was 04 that he. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bad, because yellow was in ninety two. I'm sorry. I'm 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 a generation off. Sorry. <laughs> hey, the boys gonna be talking trash down there in the chat. Boy, talk, talk trash. I got my 01 and my 91 <laughs> backwards. Hey, I got you, big dog. I got you. I was gonna ask you that anyway, um, but you had went ahead and got to that. I was gonna ask you, did you think Mayday was definitely off yellow? Yes. Cause I wanted to make some things clear. I wanted to clear some things up about that because we was talking about yellow and all that other day. And you know, the reason I say that is because I know the story behind it with Dolly. I know yeah. that is a true factual story. I'm sorry I messed up on the date. Yeah, I'm like I said, but mm -hmm. yes, I'm, I promise you that that Mayday is off of Yellow because he he sent the dog to Hollinsworth after the falling out went and he paid the extra money. So yes, that, that is true. So with everybody knowing he, everybody knowing it's a difficult guy to deal with. Why people still dealing with him? I guess because he had Yellow. Well, I mean, that, that would be it. I mean, in a nutshell. But then again, he was the only one out there at the time campaigning hard like that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not taking away from anybody else, but I'm talking about the Yellow Dog. Yeah. Even though he was co-owned by, you know, Mr. Carl. Mr. And I'll clear that up because I know somebody asked if it was Carl Mims. Uh, we're talking about Carl Cruz. So even though they co-owned the dog, it was David out there, you know, campaigning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was David the one that went to Mr. Fletcher Chavis and, you know, before th them dogs weren't even registered. You know what I'm saying? Miss Jocko, Jocko, the, the, uh, the Jocko dog, like I said, he was not registered. David paid to have them dogs registered. David did David did all that back work to Mr. Fletcher Chavis out of Nisus. He did mm -hmm. all that. So he was the one pushing the stuff hard, you know, not taking nothing away from Carl. You know, Carl was a good businessman. You know what I mean? He did what he had to do, but you know, you, you, you seen the dog, you, you, you know, you seen what he would do. You seen what he produced. So when you look at yellow, who, who comes to mind, David, cause David was campaigning him. David was pushing him hard. Yeah. So, yeah. and back then, you know what I'm saying? Especially in the South, you know what? The red boy dog was what uh, out of Florence or uh, up to, upwards of your side of town, ain't it? I mean, yep. above you. Yep. Yeah. So you had, you had red boy up there. You had Jocko, you know, out here in, 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 in Nisa's. So, you know, it was a Carolina dog. It was a Southern dog. And, you know, when you, I'm not, I don't want to say too much, but, you know, I don't know how you, your par, partake is on the red boy dogs, but, you know, the pure red boy dogs, you know, couldn't hold a hog. You know what I mean? That, that's about all they could do. You know what I mean? Yeah, but for yeah. some reason, when they bred to the Jocko stuff, it made a, 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 you know, something that they could do something. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's what they associated, you know, the yellow dog and everything like that. So, all the Red Boy fans had no choice. David was the only one pushing that, that at the time. So yeah, yeah. And like yeah. I said, he was a good dog man back then, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. As far as far as a dog man, as far as knowing what he was doing, as far as knowing how to do it, when to do it, where to do it, and to make the dog successful, he was just a piece of shit breeder. You know what I mean? Once he once once he got to where he knew he could make the money, mm -hmm. that's when that's when the love of the game went. And you, you know, know what? I mean? You know what? Like um, when when like he said, him and Cruz was partners, and Cruz was the more honest person to deal with of the two. Okay, now, yeah, like Cruz name kind of faded out with Tet name kind of start getting heavy, 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 heavy. I'm you know why? You Go know ahead. why? Go ahead. Because Go ahead. he knew he knew David was doing crooked business. Listen, I'm not trying to put because Mr. Cruz, uh, I'm not trying to put him out. There. 
Mr. Cruz, this is how much I know. Mr. Cruz had a full time job at the Piggly Wiggly. Okay. The man that had, had, you know what I'm saying? David Tant was retired out the Navy, did a bunch of stuff in the stock market, did the dogs. So he had not but idle time on his hands. Carl was a hardworking man. He worked every day until he retired. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so he wasn't able to do the things David was doing because David, did, once he retired from the Navy, you know, and, and was in Charleston, that's all he, he had. He would sit there in the morning until noon, noon about lunchtime, watch the stock market back and forth. Wouldn't come to the dog yard till two or three o'clock after he was done all that. And then he would do what he did with the dogs from three to he went home with, you know, his wife had dinner, whatever, whatever, had his family life. And weekends were always wide open. He was so scared to leave the dog yard because everybody under the sun was trying to get there and, you know, steal the stuff from him. And, and so, you know, he pretty much that's that was his life. It was yeah. the dog yard, the stock market and that. But Mr. Cruz, he was a family man. He, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, he held his job forever, kept his nose clean, didn't shit nobody. You know what I mean? And but like I said, he was the man. Not, I don't want to put him down and say he was the man behind the scenes, but you know, he had his part in it, but he was smart enough to see once David was getting this bad reputation and, and, and seeing him get money hungry like that, he was smart. He, you know, I'm gonna make my money this way, but guess what? I'm I'm doing the same thing you're doing, you know. I'm I'm you know I'm I'm selling dogs, but I'm not doing it a stupid way. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And and that's that to me. I feel like that was the difference. Yep. And right now, although they was associated, we know the difference. They are not associated. You know what I'm saying? Far as uh, it's, it's exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Did you, but, so, go ahead. But you know how you know how I met David. I'm gonna tell you, I met David real quick. He was so worried that that I was going to try to get something out of him or something like that. The first three times I ever met him, guess where he met me at? He where? took me straight to Carl's yard. Met me, at the, met me at the Dodges chicken place right there on 17 and drove to John's Island and took me to Carl's yard three or four times before he ever took me to his. Just to see if I was, you know, just trying to get in there with him to where... You know, I, hey, I'm just trying to get in there and take a dog from you or something like that. So yeah. the man actually he was telling Carl, oh, yeah, it's a good friend of mine. You know, he's good people. But all in, uh, it, knowing what he was doing, he was just trying to see, you know, what the hell was really going on. And, mm. you know, and and that's how I know about them being good friends. We, You know, as soon as we pulled up, cigars come out, cowboy hats come out, cards come out, liquor comes out. And, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's a good old boys thing. But. You know, uh, yeah, he, he took me to Carl three or four times before I have ever even seen County Line Road. Damn. Yeah. So Damn. that's how I know, you know, the whole backstory about, you know, the, everything. You know, the people that know David know David as the dog man, know David as what they know of him. Yeah. Half the people that never even came to the yard. He would meet him somewhere else or, or do something else or, you know, right off the interstate. No, I was on the yard, lived on the yard, was living, breathing everything on the yard. I mean, and, you know, the stories, a lot of people don't know. And that's why I said, you know, these people are, you know, getting the actual life behind the dogs, with yeah. the dogs. Yeah. Now, I heard you mention something earlier about the Cadillac dog. Uh, did you ever see him breed the Cadillac stuff? I never, ever, ever seen him breed the Cadillac stuff. He listen that dog, the the one that he had, it was a it was a dark brindle dog, okay. And I'll be honest with you, I I never seen him breed. No, I you know what? I do take that back. He did. He he, he was bred twice, but neither time the bitch took. So I've never seen anything come off of that. But I've seen I've actually seen him bred twice, but there was no offspring out of the litters. Mm. Ah. Now I have seen some um the brothers talking about the dog um Rambo. You know something about that dog? I I don't I don't wanna you know, like I said, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I I I, I would be all speculation on the Rambo dog. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not, you know, I don't even want to give no secondhand knowledge on it. I, I really truly don't know. Yeah, I'll be on that. Now I remember you were saying something about um Tamp he when he got Travis. Now I wanna uh -huh. show you, I'm gonna see if I can show you something real quick. 
No. All right, now that's Travis right there. He's supposed to be off yellow. And when he got him back from Crossroad, no. That's One, not the same dog. That's not the same dog right there? That, that's not the same dog. Travis, that he had did not have that white on his collar like that. Okay, now, now that's what I was about to say. Because, see, Crossroad dogs had the white in the neck like that. Yep, that, that dog that had no white. That's the, when you showed me that I, I immediately knew that. I mean, there's the typical yellow floppies. There's the bucks get typical yellow and there is the typical crossroads white. But I'm telling you right now, the Travis that he had that he said came back from crossroads. That is not the dog. Yeah, that yeah. is not the dog. Just like just like listen, just like the I seen a picture somewhere of somebody where Tant's big Bob. Yeah, that's not big. That's not the true Bob dog. The, the true Bob dog is bigger than that. Okay, that that was the pitch I showed on the last interview. The big Bob dog. Yeah. Now there was now listen. There was a dog that he sold to somebody that they named Bob. I don't know if it was Big Bob. So like I said, I, I won't. You know, but the Bob that he used that was not him. I okay. promise you. Okay. And and yeah, that dog. I put it to you like this, Bob. The the Bob that he had looked just like yellow, but he was a little bigger. He was he was he was a sixty some pound dog. He was huge, 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 but he had more black features. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He had black in the muzzle, he had black in the ears, and he was a whole lot bigger. And he was bow legged as hell. Yeah. And I personally know the dog. And like I said, I can speak about this now because all of it was in court records. So anything I'm saying right now is not something that is snitching or nothing like that. Because if, if, if anybody wants to know anything, it can access public records. They can access anything about this. He hung Bob. He literally got pissed off because the dog was barking. The dog was old as hell. This is how, this is how ignorant this man was. Yeah. I went back, I went back there because I heard the whole yard raising hell. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? I'm thinking something's off. He's going to get off the chain. I go back there and I look at the puppy pen and he's got Bob hanging from a rope from the top of the kennel, his feet, maybe four inches off the ground and told me that he put a bullet in my head if I took him down because I was going to take the dog down. You get what I'm saying? I don't yeah. look, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, people do their thing. I, it's none of my business, but I'm not going to sit there and watch. <laughs> something that made that man so much money and and not not just that is you know what i'm saying it's, it's a principle behind it like i mean it's an animal you know what i mean and i know uh, you, you know there's you know some people have reasons that they had to you know take their dogs to the vet or have them put down because they're old or whatever what have you but to be hanging and watch the dog hang for 10 minutes before he finally took his last breath nah bro and and that's how I that's how personally I know Bob. That picture that I seen that's not the Bob that he used to breed. That's not the ones that I'm I know for a fact. Just just like we discussed before, did I think that the dogs come off of Bob or Triple A, right? Yeah. Okay, well, that's why I know Bob. That's how I know Bob. I know Bob so personally well that you know, to sit there and watch him take his last breath like that, all the way up to watching him bred fifty times in a year. You know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. yeah. And and a lot of that had to do with David released pictures years ago of dogs that he said was another dog. You know why? Because he was so damn scared, especially after the, the Red Devil incident when I told you about Red Devil getting stolen. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He he would purposely tell people this is this and that's that. And 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 I ain't gonna lie, he's you know how many times he's told people Red Devil's on Carl's yard? You know what I mean? Just to get them to, to get the heat off his back or 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 or, or when the actual shit went down, let me tell you how dirty he is. When the shit went down, he packed four dogs up. He put four dogs in the back of his little fucking white uh, Plymouth Voyager minivan and took them to John's Island on a, another man's dog yard and then turned around and told the police where he took them. Mm. Damn. Yeah, so they went to the actual yard where he took the other four dogs and all them dogs got seized. So, you know what I mean? Like that. Come on, bro. Yeah, that's you messed know, up now. Took them straight there and then turned around and told the police where they were. Damn. Yeah. That's just how he was. He was an asshole. Yeah, that's crooked, that boy. And like I showed you, I don't know if you want to touch on it, but the screenshots that I sent you before this of other Columbia dogmen that actually suffered from this. 
Yeah. Okay. You can talk about it. Okay, well, I'm going to say it like this. There was a constant, anybody from Columbia, South Carolina, and I, I'm not going to call no government names, but Gangbuster Kennels was, man, they, they believed, they believed in some the, the yellow blood. They, they, they had the, uh, 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 pure, now I, I got, I got scrutinized for saying about the, uh, you know, uh, I seen that on one little comment about buying a black dog that's off a red boy dog. Now, if you did, you see the pedigree and how they're bred. Yep. Yep. If you look, if you look, there's just no way you should get a black dog out of that. Do you, could you see getting a black dog out of that? No, no, no. It like, was in four generations. It was, it was being, it was Deacon. Yep. Blitz Deacon twister deacon blitz deacon twister and then on the bottom is deacon blitz deacon twister deacon blitz there's no freaking way <laughs> the guy said well if you bred him back to uh red boy back to his daughter you could have we're not talking about breeding red boy back to his daughter yeah. we're talking about breeding brother and sister that's off of brother and sister that's off of father and daughter you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. and, and and i just shut up i didn't even comment back because you know it's it, 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 you know, all power to it. If you feel like the, the, you, know, you could get a black dog out of that and you, you want to buy it, that's fine. But when my dog is bingo, peaches, bingo, cream, bingo, peaches, bingo, cream, bingo, peaches, bingo, cream in a line and I'm getting a black dog. Nah, come on, you can have them. Matter of fact, if, I'll give them to, to whoever, whoever that person was. If I ever find another one, I'll send it to him. Hey, me too. Some people going to make an excuse why they should have that black dog. No one ain't no black dog should be in that pedigree. Man, there ain't a black listen, there there ain't a black dog in seven generations of that pedigree. And they'll go all the way back and say, Oh, it was all that's that's the Teal's Jeff, or that's the so and so La Posse stuff, or this and that, and this and that. Man, what year we in? We yeah, we, we, that was 30 years ago. 30 years and you're getting and you're getting black dogs off of that. Hey, Red Boy, a little mm -hmm. little farther than 30 years ago. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, I'm saying like you your seventh generation now is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. If you look at that seventh generation now. You know mm. what I'm saying? That's 30 years ago, and you 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 are you're getting black dogs. Yep. Mm, I'm good, but no disrespect to that man. Like you know, he, he kind of told me to do my research and kind of hurt my feelings a little bit because I'm pretty sure the research is the proof is in the pudding in that one. But no no, listen, no disrespect to him. You know, I I, I don't mean no disrespect. Maybe he heard me wrong or 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 whatever. But I couldn't post the pedigree just to, for clarification. But I'm gonna tell that, you that. I ain't mean to cut you off. I'm gonna tell you that, man. I'm gonna tell you that it's, it's two. It's 2023. If I got a dog, 2023 with nothing but Deacon in it, nothing but Bailey's yep. Bingo in it, top and bottom, there's no way in hell 2023 it should be a black yeah. dog in it, unless it's been a yeah. black dog in that program somewhere or another. Now, if you pull one thing from the Crooks Uncovered video, the one thing you should pull was papers don't matter. You know, genetics is far more reliable. Papers do not matter. So that should tell you the only thing that should matter to you as a dog man is the dog that you have in your yard. That's the only thing that should matter to you as a dog man. This is Red Lady. She's a Mayday dog, Hollinsworth dog, with a scatter blondie in it. A scatter blondie in it, which is the buck dog. You know, so she's a Mayday, which is a yellow Hollinsworth buck dog. I will say this is one of the best producing bitches coming directly off haul. Now, I done heard this dog daddy was coming down off Jeep stuff. I done heard this dog daddy was coming down off ball stuff. But the paperwork say Red Boy Jocko made a with a splash of buck. Now, if you know anything about dogs, if I gave you an option to pick from the three, ball, Jeep, Red Boy Jocko, you would X balls off the map instantly. You know, if you know anything about dogs, you would X balls off the map. Then you will be kind of wavery back and forth between Jeep and Red Boy Jocko. But you'll go to the Red Boy Jocko because you can see the Hollinsworth stuff in that dog. And in today's time, the rum list is a straight fairy tale. You know, straight fairy tale. Uh, we go by things that don't matter no, no more besides the dog in your yard. We won't go by that dog in your yard. You don't like that dog, but you love the pedigree. You love the papers. So you're willing to keep that dog just just because of the paperwork. And that's what you screwed up at. That's what you screwed up at. Because if you don't like that dog, at the end of the day, you don't like him for a reason. 
So play the game the way the game's supposed to be played. You know, play the game the way the game's supposed to be played. It's what you got in your face, not in your hand. Thank you. And guess who I got the dogs from? Who that? Mr. David Tant. And guess where he got them from? Gangbuster Kennels. They bred Gangbusters Fireball to Gangbusters. No, excuse me. It was Daniel's Fireball, which is Gangbusters. But Daniel's Fireball to GB's 99, which is Gangbusters 99. It was a brother sister breeding from Mr. Uh, uh, Whitten. You know what I'm saying? So I bought those. I, I got the dogs, did the breeding, and got black dogs off of that particular that that particular breeding. So that's when I knew shit wasn't right. And then when I went to verify, you know what was really going on. Unfortunately, what I was speaking on about the the dog man that you know uh, uh, gangbusters. Unfortunately, the man got 30 years in the federal penitentiary, um, and I think he's home now because the drug laws changed, but. Uh, a lot of that happened because if you look way back in the paperwork, when somebody had a uh, uh, federal immunity, you remember what I'm talking about? Oh, you know what we're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. So all that stemmed down from David and, and this is March. I want is March of 2004. Everything was right there together. That took down Dr. Short. Dr. Short was, you know, I, 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 I don't want to say allegedly because he played guilty to it, but Dr. Short, you know, was supplying down here, you know, supposedly, you know, the certain dog men with, with, uh, uh, you know, steroids and doctor and the Carolina Panthers, you know, and I, I sent you the screenshot on that. This ain't nothing I'm saying is, is, is stuff that is speculation. I sent you screenshots of actual news clippings Yeah, and you know, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know that because hell, that was 2004. You know, this is 2023, so they're looking back. You know, you know, a couple of years ago, this, that, this, and that. But man, the facts is right there. You know, what I mean, when, when, okay, when 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 he testified in federal court on 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 Fat Bill, look how long ago that was. You know what I'm saying? And but yet, he thought he still had federal immunity from that because he he did you know, tell on himself and, you know, on, testified against himself that he was at certain places. And, and Mr. Reynolds, I'm not trying to put your business out there, but I mean, it's over with facts is facts, you know, it's all public record. So that's what he did. So when he slowly still had federal immunity from that, that man just went haywire. And now, like I said, all his federal charges disappeared from, from 2004 which is even crazier because, you know, Vic goes down after that. Sorry, you know, it's public knowledge, but, you know, and, and we all know the story on that. And hell, he's been doing nothing but, you know what I'm saying, making his money. And when he when the heat gets off him, on him, he just pushes on somebody else and, 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 and gets them out of the way. And, and, so, yeah. And there was other there, there, there's other dog men, you know, that, that I feel like suffered, too. But, you know, uh, I don't want to touch on them because I really don't know if you know facts behind that, but it was just all happened. You know, you you, you remember he, the Red Man dog, Hanton's Red Man, or 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 uh, uh, out of um Manning, uh, Santee area, Ricky Hanton, them them boys that all them boys that all went down around the same time, and he comes out smiling. How you got the number one man, or what they say is number two, but how's the number one man still standing tall? Yeah. But everything around him's fallen. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. That's and, and guess what? Word is, word is in the uh, you know, because I always tell them boys I got CNN satellites out of space. Word is that he 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 about to get back in the dog game in a few minutes. He just trying to handle some business around there in Charleston area and he about to get back in the dog game. You know? Well, I hate it for him. I hate it for him because if he does, man, listen, anybody out there, if he does. Smash him for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I wish I could be invited. I, I, I love to watch some hunts. and But still, like, like here, here, here's the bad thing about it, though. Um, He actually called me when he came out wanting to apologize about certain things. And I listened to him for about the first 90 seconds. I, I think I'll give it 90 seconds. And he was like, man, part of my, I've got X amount of parole, blah, blah, blah. 
part of my stipulation is I can never own another dog. I can never associate this, that, this, and that. So if he's about to do that, y'all better watch out. Because why would he be coming back if he's got a stipulation on his on, on his parole that he cannot even associate? So if they're letting him come back, somebody's going down. Mm-hmm. No offense to that. So if y'all are crazy enough to let that happen, <sighs> man, hey, look. Hey, I spoke up a, 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 you know, a few, uh, maybe a month or so ago because the thing is, you're starting to see more and more, not from 2023, but you're seeing more in, in modern 2000s when you know he didn't have them dogs of yellow tent dogs popping up. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's a lot of them yellow tent dogs popping up from the mid-2000s when you know he didn't have them dogs, but a lot of these brothers didn't know because they weren't born or they weren't even of age to even know anything about that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, well, let me Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, nah, I was just about to say, you know, so it kind of slides under the radar a little bit to certain folk. And then when they, when you tell them it, they don't believe you. They think, oh, this and that, oh, that, or, you know what I'm saying? They just want to see his name Tent in their pedigree. They just want to see Tent in their pedigree. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. Now, who, uh, right, you're, you're registered to use, are, are you ADBA or are you, uh, I mean, the reason I ask that is, you know, he, he was in good with Mr. Greenwood and then their daughters and stuff like that in the ADBA. Okay. No, no, no. I, I'm not knocking ADBA by any means. So don't think I'm hating on them. But let me ask you a question. If you were to register a breeding and you were to send your paperwork in the ADBA, your mama, your, 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 your stud dog and your bitch have got to be registered to have the puppies, correct? Yep. Okay. So you tell me how this man can not have registration on not only the mother and the father, but the grandfather and the grandmother, because he didn't waste money on papers. Okay, that, that, that that's the thing. You know, when when you bought a dog from him, you got a single registration. Yeah, you didn't get a certificate. So you tell me where they do this at. So he would call Katie or 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 whoever it would be one of the Greenwoods and say, okay, well, um. I'm about to send this paperwork in for this fella, and this is the, this is yeah, this is me, this is David, whatever. Here's the dog's names. I don't have the registration on, but this is how it's bred. Every single time, like I I I know that they can do that, and and I don't. It might have changed since then, but I know you know you could verify how a breeding was done through a a, a past breeder, but to every time call up there and be like, hey, you know, th- this is a true breeding, blah blah blah, but you don't never register no dogs. Yeah, I mean. Come on now, you 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 can say anything you want. You're not having to prove nothing. But if I send my paperwork in, what do they do? First thing they do is they get the paper, they get the registration, they do the research to make sure that the dog and the numbers match with it match. Make sure that this actual breeding couldn't have taken place during another time when they're saying it happened again. They they, they, they you know they, they look at it. Yeah. But this man can call in. I've been there two different times when I'm not going to call the female's name. One of the Greenwoods would call and say, David, how would you, how is this, you know, how you got a dog off of, I'm just saying the name. So don't, don't, but like, well, he's giving false facts. Just say sassy. And I'm not going to use her. She was too good of a dog. We'll just say lady. How was lady have a, a, a litter in March of 2004, but you've also registered one in December of 2003. Yeah. How's that happen? Oh, 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 let me go look back and look at my, and, and, and he'd pull the book out. I mean, literally like the man, when I tell you the man kept documents, the man had detailed stuff on everything that ever happened. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and he would look in his folder and look and look and, and he'd tell me here, here, look through, you know, it, uh, I made a mistake somewhere, you know, what, it, what, who was bred in December of, you know, Oh three. And I'd have to say, okay, well, twister you know what i'm saying lady blah 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 so he doesn't give the wrong information they done called him and it called him back and said hey i think you made a mistake oh yeah i made a mistake and then we changed it to a bitch from december of 03 mm. you get what i'm saying yeah. so yeah, i know where I do know they because if i send the paperwork in guess what they're gonna do they're gonna send it back and say i'm sorry we can't register this dog sir yep but yeah yeah that just goes with uh uh with what i'm saying and 
you know, I wish, and I, I really feel like one of the people that is very loyal to him, I, I really wish I could, you know, tell you maybe off air who he is, you know, and, 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 and try to see if you could get some more clarification because the person I'm speaking to is one of the ones that was promoting his stuff and, 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 you know, caught him twice hanging papers. And, and, but here was the thing. He was still getting bulldogs. You get what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just saying from the paper aspect, Yeah. he didn't yeah. give a damn what the paper said. He wanted a bulldog. So even though he called it, he wasn't worried about it because he's out doing his thing and doing, was doing damn good. So, you know, he didn't give a fuck about pay. He wasn't breeding no dog, yeah, but he, he caught him, but he caught him twice on it. Mm. So, but I don't want to. Yeah, he of course. What you want. <laughs> if you called him and said, hey, you got anything off of triple A bread to such and such? Oh, yeah, man. Which one you want? I got a puppy and I got one as a year old. He, he would get you like that. Well, what, what, you know, I got one as a year old. I got one as three years old. So now he don't hit every aspect. Okay. I got a puppy. I got one as a year old. I got one as three years old. I got one's ready to go. I got one that needs a little bit more. I got one that's just, you know, oh, if you just want one to stud. Oh, and, and I got a brew bitch. So now what you did was you just told him and you got what he want and every, you can't go wrong. And whatever you're looking for is fitting in that category. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And then he got you. Yeah. If you ever want to buy a dog from him, don't ever call him and say, "Hey, do you got one off of this and this?" Call him and say what you got. Hmm. You know what, what? You know what you got available. Yeah. Well, what you looking for? Well, I got you. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, real talk. He got you. Yep. Yeah. And 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 now it's the difference of if you're going to spend a thousand, if you're going to spend fifteen hundred, if you're going to buy a puppy, female puppy for a thousand, or a male puppy for fifteen hundred. Or you want something, you know, eight, nine, ten months old for twenty five, or you know, one for thirty five, but a little bit more time. Or hey, if you want real ready to go, you go. Okay, I got all of it. Which one you want? Mm -hmm. And yep. I'm coming back, especially then. Now that we're talking about Triple A, somebody had a question. They was asking, uh, "Tant Matt is Tant Matt off Triple A?" I want look. There's a reason I didn't answer that one because I'm trying to remember. Does any does anybody does when when what year what year was Matt? Well, I mean, when 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 was it from? You know what I'm saying? Like like it had it been two thousands. This is why I say this, bro. I and 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 this is the crazy part. I probably have seen anywhere from six to ten thousand puppies throughout all the time come through him. Yeah, I mean, and, and and people think, man, there's no way possible, bro. Shit. I've seen, I mean, I've seen. So I'm I'm not familiar with the actual dog. If I knew, if I who he's supposed to be off. Does it, do you know what else he's supposed to be off of? Triple A and who? Because uh, that would actually me a lot. I'm not sure. I looked at the pedigree, That's, but I forgot what it was. Yeah, I I asked him, I and mean, I tried to look at the pedigree because, um. Do you and, and here's the thing? Do you realize how many repeats and quad peat names that some of these dogs have? Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. You know how many you know how many tants bobs there is. You know how many tants. Uh. 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 uh the man. Oh my God. It, it's it. it so, see, so I end up. Naming, I named my dog Triple X, and I called her Porno. That's it's because it was so damn off the wall. You know what I mean? And 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 and. I had to do that because everybody else had one by that name. You couldn't yeah. even register it no more with that. <laughs> so uh, when did Triple A die? Triple A was still there. Triple A was still there when David got busted. Okay. Okay. Triple A was still there in 04. Okay. Yeah. I so promise you that. I know that for a complete fact. Triple yeah, A. The reason I say that is because he used to bitch at me every day because he only wanted a certain amount of food in their bowls. And I gave trip man, I filled triple H bowl up every goddamn time. I didn't give a fuck. Hey man, you feed me I'm going through eight fifty pound dog food this amount of time. And <laughs> man, I don't give a fuck. That dog that man, that dog dog made you so much money, bro. You shouldn't even be he he should be getting goddamn DoorDash every day. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's, that's why I can't, that's why I can't understand why he would do Bob like that when he making him so bro, much money. Bro, that man listen. And and I'm gonna be real with you. 
and y'all can laugh at me or call me a bitch or whatever. I cried when that shit happened, bro. I was so pissed off when I looked over there and seen him and I started to him and David was famous. David kept a damn a little 32 in his pocket and he kept a 40 taped up underneath his goddamn dash of his little white minivan. And when he told me to put a bullet in my head, I believed him because if you do that to a dog, you do it to a person. So I, there was no, you know, he ain't fitting to shoot me out here. And, and you know what the bad part about is, uh, 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 David had a little famous famous spot where he put put it in a dog food bag, throw it over the side, and alligators eat it. And I'm dead serious about that. That ain't no. That was in court records. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, they they went and got. He he told them where they they were asking. Well, where are you putting these? You know, cold dogs because he would put in his in his damn logs that this dog got cold. This dog got cold. This dog got cold. This dog got caught brought back. It got cold. And when he thought he had immunity and thought he was good and that uh, this was going to go away, they went to the place where he was putting these dogs in dog bags and, and dog food bags, throwing them over right there in Ravenel. And anybody from the low country knows there's, you know, there's alligators down there. I promise. Oh, yeah. He's, oh, yeah. He's, he's throwing them over. And, you know, they went back and found bones. They found man, all kinds of shit. The man. Yeah. He, so if he'll do it to that, they, I wasn't fitting to come up missing over trying to go cut a rope down. You know what I'm saying? But that man hung he must, Bible. He must have tried to bite him or something back there or something like that. He must be trying to bite him. That's the only thing I could think of the reason to make him get that mad to try to do something like that. that that's the only you want thing me to, I can think of. You want me to be honest with you? Oh, yeah. I'll be, I'll be real with you. That man hasn't lay hand, didn't lay a hand on any of his dogs the last year to year and a half. He didn't even give a fuck. He would walk through the yard maybe once a week, look at the dogs, make sure they weren't too skinny, make sure they weren't too fat. He'd bitch at me all the time. I told you, if you see one rib bone, you're good. If you see two, feed them a little bit more. Um, he wouldn't be there. He'd be gone. And I'll be honest with you, the man started falling off. He started to lose weight. I always see him chewing on towels. He was he he was just uh, 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 something wasn't right with him at the end. But I'm going to tell it to you like this. This is, was his perceptive. If you wasn't making him no money, he didn't give a fuck who you were and what you were. You were getting out of the way because there was yeah. something else that could take up that chain. And Bob, I don't give a damn who you were. And matter of fact, and, and my daughter at that time was seven years old. And guess what? My daughter's favorite dog was Bob. That, that was one of the reasons I was so upset. My daughter would, as soon as she came back there to the yard, she'd be right back there with Bob. Bob would sit there. She's, he was one of them dogs you could pull in his ears. You could... You could got you could do anything, and and the man, the dog wouldn't do nothing. I asked him specifically, "What?" I said, "What'd you do that for?" He said, "The, the uh, we know the the past couple of times before that he was bred to a couple of dogs, and I think maybe one puppy had maybe he might have had one puppy out of four litters, and he would he was always excited. So once he started barking, the other 70 dogs would start barking, which would have the neighbors all outside. And it was all about if a hell I mean, if an airplane flew over that property, going to land at the airport, he swore it was the feds watching them. He kept, you know what I'm saying? Like running under the trees, hide, don't look, you know what I mean? Yeah. So as soon as the dogs started barking, they had to go. So if, they, if they, if they were a constant problem where they were raising hell, making noise, they had to go. And yeah. Yeah. There, there was only one neighbor and he was a true asshole. Um, that one neighbor was closer to the house in the big building on the other side of a little fence. Everything from the other side down was just complete power lines. There was no neighbors. But that one particular, you know, he would raise any, anything that raised hell. I've seen several dogs have to go because of that reason. But he pissed them off that day really bad. And that's what happened. Hmm. So he probably looked at like he wasn't having no more puppies. Now he's making yeah. all the dogs make noise. And he's not making no money off of them. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I, I asked yeah. him exactly. I asked him why he did. I said, what? I said, was he sick? You know what happened? What, what, what was going on? He said he wouldn't shut the fuck up. And I'm tired of it. Exact words. Damn. And that is not that is not trying to make him look bad. I'm true. I wouldn't sit there and say I cried like a bitch over the dog being hung if, you know, it wasn't facts behind it. I literally cried like a bitch because I did not want to. That was a man that would, bro, you just don't, you, morally, you don't do that, man. And it's to anything. And, and people out there that, you know, there is some dog men that don't take care of their dogs like they're supposed to, but they're also not out there hanging them. And you know what I mean? Mm. That, that just takes a sick individual to watch something that's put food on your, and your, 
your family's table for years and, 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 and paid your bills and everything like that. And you can turn around and look him in the eyes while he's hanging. You're a sick ass. I'm going to leave the rest out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And the thing about it, man, is like, it needs to be out there because the fact that so many people got these dogs, you know what I'm saying? All kind of yellow dogs. And it's like, mm -hmm. every, like I, like I said before, was like everybody hold him to that level. And, and not knowing that half of the game is fake. You know what I'm saying? Half of everything he brought to the dog game is fake now that you look back on it. You know what I'm saying? It's not what you think it is. You know, and, and I don't necessarily mean the bloodline or the pedigree. I just mean everything you think about his situation. As far as, yep. you know, he the number one dog man and this and that and, and, and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, um, it's no telling what you got. You know, uh, when you got that stuff, and a lot of brothers like to like to come up on these shows and brag about, oh, I went and bought a dog from Ten. I went and bought a dog from Ten. I went and bought one from Ten, and they went and bought it in the two thousands. You know what I'm saying? They went and bought it in the two thousands, and it probably got you know ram. They probably let got ram. Let me, let me tell you. Let me tell you how much of an asshole. Okay, so I was um. Like I said, I'm out of Pennsylvania. I had a I had a dog um, named Crunch, Cassell's Crunch. He was a a a, a, a very good dog. Um, he he came off from Doug from Champ Bound Kennels off the Hustler dog. Um, I, he 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 hunted twice. Was supposed to be going for his third one, and I mean was was. He was a black jet, red boy Jocko Jeep dog. I mean, a red boy Jeep rascal dog. Excuse me. Pro line kennels. Kaja girl was his mama. Doug did very very well off of the hustler dog. I actually think he's a rom dog now. I, I, he's either a por or I I, I don't know because I've lost touch with him. But so I had a legal issue that I had to handle in Pennsylvania, and I had to come up with like two thousand dollars. So Dave's like, man, I got you. You know, here's here's the money. Going up there, take care of it. I need you. I said, well, David, you know, I don't know, you know, you know, how, what, what, I'm not doing no business without all the details. You know what I'm saying? You, I, you ain't going to just own me, you know, for saying $2,000. Yeah. He said, well, okay. he said, well, give me the little black dog. He said, and when you pay me the $2,000 back, you can have a crunch back. I said, okay, man, that's, that's a fair deal. He was already on the yard. You know what I'm saying? One of the, the only black dog on the yard. So, and low key, I knew he hated that because, you know, I, he purposely tried to prove that that dog was not going to make that third hunt because two of the hunts that he went on was it was yellow dogs and it pissed him off. But I mean, you know, he was the one doing it because he was trying to prove a point. But both times, guess what? The point did not go through. So I wasn't putting thinking about it then. But so I go to Pennsylvania and I come back and my dog's gone. And I'm like, bro, where's my dog? Oh man, oh, uh, I didn't think you were gonna pay me. Now I was only gone three days. You know, it's a day up, day back, and a day there. Damn. Oh, I, I thought about it, and I didn't think you were gonna be able to pay me my money back because, you know, uh, 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 you got this going on, and you know, you got your other little dog yard over here, and this is what you know what I'm saying. So he's like, so I sold the dog to get my money back, and I, well, I was livid. I was like, bro, you know what I'm saying? We had an agreement. Man, here, let me just give you a yellow dog. You really need one of these yellow dogs. Bro, I was about to take, you know what I'm saying, on this third third one, you know what I mean? And, 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 and Hustler was doing so well. I was so proud of this shit. I come back, my dog's gone. He tell me, well, you don't owe me the money now. I done sold the dog to somebody else, this and that, this and that. And you come to find out, he didn't sell the dog. He put the dog down. And thank God for a local breeder that was close that said, hey, David, you know, brought such and such over here and uh, uh you know i i uh, did what he asked me to do and boy you you know uh, uh you know that, that's just how much of an asshole he was and you do that to the man that's feeding your dogs taking care of your dogs making sure nobody comes and takes your shit you gonna handle them like that come on man that, that's the closest person to you yeah you know what I'm saying? you know every move they make and if not they're making moves for you so you were that bold to do that that's the type of person he was i'm gonna so, tell you, I'm, I'm gonna cut you off right there but remember, remember what you're talking about yeah. i'm gonna i cut you off for a reason 
same thing took crossroad down you know what i'm saying he he had a problem with the guy that he had like he considered was his yard man or something like that right yep. he had about good he had about a good 10 dogs on the yard now mm -hmm. when he had a money problem with him and then one day uh Eric, he was trying to sell us the dogs you know what i'm saying but um we never end up getting them um one day he, he called us up um he had went out there and killed all the dogs in the yard that was his his um guy dogs all the dogs Boy, that man, hey uh nah he went out there and killed him he went out there and shot okay. him he went out there okay. and shot him and then it wasn't it wasn't probably a couple months later before he the helicopter was landing in his um, backyard yeah you know and all that happened because he he went out there and shot that man dogs and yep. you know then if, if to the, today if he would have never shot that man dogs he would have still been in the dog game because the simple fact it all it all stemmed down from that. Once he shot the dogs, the man went and told the police on him, and then the helicopters landed in his yard from mm -hmm. there. And then one thing, little one thing, led to another. But well, if that boy wouldn't, if that boy wouldn't have got shot trying to steal them puppies, he'd be still, he'd be still full blast. Well, I ain't gonna say full blast, because eventually somebody can get him. But if that boy wouldn't have got shot that day, he'd have probably still been all right. But now, now let and, me ask you this: since you say that, now. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I wanted to ask you. Where do you think? Where do you think the dog game would be at today if he would have never? That would have never happened that night. For It'd be even team. more fake. What do you say? It'd be even more fake. Yeah, I can't even imagine, man. I can't even imagine. Like the Lord working you know, mysterious ways, man. You know what would happen? I'm gonna tell you what would happen. We what? would have. We would have. Blue brindle Jocko dogs. Yeah, that's what will happen. Especially with that I'm money, just saying. Especially with that money in that that in that lane too. Yeah, you, you would have some crazy shit, and he'd be he'd have an excuse for it. But it, and but please, please don't think bad of me for saying this part. I'm glad the best thing that could ever happen to the people that like that red boy Jocko stuff was for him to get out of the way. That yeah. was the best thing because now at least it might not be right. But at least it's generations on, and it may not be right way back. But now at least you can start to recover and start to, you know, make new lineages. I ain't gonna say you know it's all all goes back to ancestry. But you know, since oh, yeah. 04, you've got several generations of actual bulldogs, and you know how they're bred. So at least if you look now, it's a whole lot cleaner than what it was then. But if he was still out here now, oh my god. Oh, yeah. And to be more people, and to be more people in jail. Sorry, I had to say that. And people be arguing about what they got and why they coming up this color, and because Tant said it's supposed to be this color, that means it's supposed to be this color. If it's, mm -hmm. if he say black's supposed to be coming off this color, and that's all that matter, because Tant said it, and they are gonna believe everything he said. And looking at the pedigree, yeah. seeing nothing but yellow and red boy dogs in it, and gonna say this black coming back from the the, the Tudor's Dabo dog. And all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Going way yeah. back the, the, to the Mayfield well, dogs and stuff like that. Well, well, listen. Th this is an answer a huge qu question that people have. I want you people to compare Carl's dogs to David's dogs. Same thing. Same thing. Same lineage. <laughs> but you're using Billy brother and Billy sisters. Why they look so different? They're Billy brothers and Billy sisters coming off the same dogs three generations back. Why are they look? Why do they look so different? You're right. You're right. I mean, I'm just wondering. Like, okay, they may have went a different route with breeding them, but I'm talking about the ones that they that they were tightening up. I'm not because I do know that Carl you know outcross you know what i'm saying he was he wasn't inbreeding 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 i'm actually speaking on the ones that were actually bred the same way supposedly you yeah. know what i'm saying like you know when they did a comparative breeding to each other why the dogs look so different that's what i'm getting at yeah you know and i'm not talking about the ones that he bred to the you know warlock the poncho dog you know the vice grip kennels burn stuff whatever what have you i'm speaking about when you're taking the jr dog you know what i'm saying and, and 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 or whatever have you or or why do they look so different it, it just even what they're producing is so different I, 
it's just it's, it's hard to believe that's like me and you you know buying two dogs that piece out the same litter breeding them together a brother and sister and i got all black dogs and you got all red dogs i mean yeah, yeah. they came from the same the, 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 the same breeding they were bred together why they look so fucking different i mean i i just i don't know and i'm sure somebody's gonna say well you know all dogs are different but you're right. All dogs are different, but not that many dogs in one litter are going to be that different. A lot of the ones that say that be looking at them pedigrees, and it, they just don't want to admit what they see. They just don't want to admit what they see, man. You know, well, and, and another thing we was talking about, like with Triple A, being being he's yeah. a brindle, he's a brindle dog. He, I mean, I, I just haven't seen no brindle Triple A dogs that came directly off of him, and another yellow dog. I just That's haven't my seen point. it. And I just That's don't know my... how, how, like we was talking about the black and the brindle being a dominant color. Although his mom and daddy not brindle, he's still brindle. He still have the brindle genes. So why haven't he thrown any brindle dogs? Why is it the, the, the pure triple A dogs? A lot of brindle dogs. A lot of brindle color, whether it's buckskin, brindle, red, brindle, whatever. Yep. They, yep. they don't have no brindle in them. And that was what I was getting at, you know, the, the, the last time, like, uh, you know, people say, was well, AAA really off of yellow is, you know, red devil is this, that, this, not that. Now, have you, have you seen the red devil dog? I mean, cause there's misconceptions on the red devil dog. Um, I just, I because, just seen the pictures of them. Okay. So listen, so have you ever seen two pictures that there's one that looks a little different than the other? Have you seen that? Or, or did to you do they both look the same? No, I ain't seen that in Red Devil. I ain't really paid attention with him. Okay, guy. okay. So look, after Freddie, oh God, my bad, bro. Uh, Freddie, I, I didn't mean to call you out like that. I, actually, I think I spoke on you last time. When Red Devil got took, Red Devil became a different Red Devil. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, the real yeah. Red Devil was gone. The real Red Devil was gone, but a new Red Devil appeared, and. The original Red Devil that was around had a red brindle in him. You couldn't really see the brindle unless he was in the sun. You know what I'm saying? It was like a real light brindle in the red. Yeah. But but afterwards, the Red Devil dog that he portrayed was a pure red dog. It wasn't a, a brindle spot in the dog. But that's because that wasn't the Red Devil dog. He told everybody oh no this is red devil they didn't get red devil no motherfucker they got red devil i know for a fact that's not the same dog matter of fact uh, 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 uh the red devil dog had a little bit of an overbite the original red devil dog had a little bit of an overbite the new red devil had a scissor bite now unless he's got a very good dog dentist you know what i'm saying Cause i know he may have money so unless he went and got his teeth fixed you know what i'm saying and 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 and, and, and Somehow Michael Jackson them and took the brindle out of them. You get what I'm saying? Yep. You know, and, and I can't say it can't be done because, you know, you know, Michael Jackson being, I'm not talking racist, but Michael Jackson did what he did. And yes, he went from one color to another. Unless he knew the same doctor and the same dentist. Hell, I don't know. He might could have, but there's no way that, that, that them two dogs are different. And if you also paid attention that, that, Red Devil dog was not. If if Red Devil was Red Devil, you would see him bred just as much as Triple A. Why yeah. wouldn't you? Why would Why would you put it all on Triple A when you got a Billy brother? Yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying. That, that's 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 a brother off of a brother sister breeding. That's off of what? Yeah. So, I mean, come on now. Yeah. So that, right. that that that's proof in the pudding. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't see that many red devil dogs you just don't so if he wasn't stolen or he was still there that's why david never really bred him now there is paperwork out there off a of red devil because people wanted to breed a red devil and you know he had a clone i guess whatever you want to say but a look-alike but uh yeah so that's why you anybody that, that wants to is just got you know go on online pedigrees or however you're just doing now Look up the offspring of AAA and look off the offspring of Red Devil and please tell me why it's nowhere even close. Nowhere close. Mm -hmm. And the, and the so, new and how how long before the new Red Devil left the yard? The new Red Devil actually was supposed to have went to. Hold on, let me. Tennessee. Uh, 
God dang, what's I, I really don't want to call him name and not be right. The real Red Devil, I mean, the, the, excuse me, the second Red Devil was sold for a, for supposedly for a ridiculous amount of money. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, tw- I, I want to say it was like $20,000 or some bullshit behind that. But, but and, and, and look, listen, I, I, I'm going to say this. You know what the crazy part is? And and he can't deny this. And David, I know you hear me, so you you can't deny this. When that Red Devil was sold, dog was sold to the man in Tennessee. I literally sat there for I don't know how long, mark taking the the, the money marker on all them twenties in the goddamn back of the U-Haul when they came to pick the dog up. I just sat there and he watched me mark every single fucking twenty that come through to buy that dog. So yes, I was there, and I know it was not the Red Devil dog. And I watched how much it sold for. I, it was twenty or th- I want I, I want to say it's twenty. You know, but anything after ten that you're marking is 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 irrelevant because you're fucking tired of seeing it anyway. But yeah, yeah, you know, and and he just watched me mark, 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 and we watched the dog drive away, and I was just shaking my head like that man just paid twenty bands for something that was not what it was. That dog went to Virginia. True red devil dog went to Virginia. Don't know what happened. Never heard, but um, he denied it to the hill. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Man, I know you gotta get up out of here, but I got one more question for you. Um yeah. matter of fact, if you want listen, you can make until listen, until your people are tired of hearing about it. If you get questions, I bro, I'm here for you. Like I said, next week, the week after, two years from now, what have you. You know, because there's gonna be more questions and this is something that you know needs to be touched on. So you know, this don't have to be the end. You know, you feel me? You're good people, I respect you, I respect what you're doing. And um, like I said, that's why my loyalty is with you. I'm not saying that disrespectfully to anybody else, but you know, I started something with somebody, and I understand other people might want to know. But if they truly want to know, y'all contact Pelican Bay, because yeah, I, I won't take money. I won't take nothing. This this is not for money. This is not to make somebody look bad. This is somebody that I seen touch on the racism part, and and and, and made me want to step up and talk i'm not doing this for publicity i could give two dams so anybody that's out there just hearing and wants to contact me and trying to figure out bro if you got questions hit pelican bay that's what he's doing that's what he's trying to do hit the subscribe the like whatever you got to do hit him with the question and he feel free he can call me anytime and get your answer yes sir y'all heard it y'all heard it first y'all heard it first i'm not answering it but for through you appreciate it bro appreciate it I got one question for you before we get up out of here. You know, um, when it comes to Mayday, did you hear any untold stories, whether they're good or bad, that you know most of these brothers may not have heard yet? Listen, he hated. Look, he regretted letting Mayday go. Yeah. Let me ask you. Right, check this out. Here's here, here's the proof behind it. You ever see David breed to the Mayday dog? As good as he was, you ever see him produce anything off of Mayday after Mayday was Mayday? No. Now, anybody, do you ever see him claim it? Do you ever see him give props? Do you, he hated the Mayday dog. He hated Barracudas. He hated Locaine. He hated, uh, 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 uh what, what, what's it? What, uh, what, what, Southern Boy Kennels? He hated, wasn't that the right? Uh, am I speaking right? Wasn't it Southern, Southern Kennels? Southern Kennels. Southern Kennels, yeah. I, I'm sorry. I've been miscalled y'all boys, but he hated Southern Kennels. He, he was anti anything, Luke Kane, Barracuda, uh, Mayday. You never seen David go back to any of that shit. You never seen him repeat. You never seen. Let me ask you a question: A real money man and a real man about the dog world and a real man want to make some claim for his fame. You think he would have re- tried to repeat the breeding of Mayday? Why you think it never happened? I was gonna ask you that too. Because he shit, he shit Hollingsworth. Yeah, Hollingsworth said you'll never see another one, and that's why he hated the Mayday dog. And Victor got Mayday through Hollingsworth, not through, through Hollingsworth. Not through ten. Yeah, not through ten. No, no, no. David Hill, David Hill, Mayday for ransom. I'm telling them, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that until they paid him X amount of money. That's what got the bad taste in Hollingsworth's mouth about ever doing business with David again. Because y'all tell me another uh, uh, Hollingsworth dog that was bred to Mayday. I mean, yellow after Mayday. I'll wait because he ain't gonna do it. No. Nope. And and Victor uh, from Southern Kennel bought the dog from Hollingsworth. 
And then the smart thing, because I think it was the smartest thing they ever done was when he was shipped out the country. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that, that was probably the best thing that could ever happen because David, I put it to you like this. If, if he could have made it happen, that dog would have never seen nothing. It would have never happened. That was, the, that was the absolute best decision that Hollinsworth and Victor could have made. And, but I want y'all to hear this and, 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 and comment back, please. Y'all, y'all show me as show me some, a good amount of breedings of any of those dogs. Let's just say, made it. Show me some stuff where David bred back himself, bred back to anything close to Mayday. You ain't gonna. Ha- it ain't gonna happen. It ain't. Yeah. It, it, it ain't gonna happen. You know what I mean? He no. Unless now, I take that back. Unless somebody came and paid to breed. You get what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say that there's not breedings out there. I'm gonna say you, y'all show me where he went and did it. Because if it was working that good, why the fuck didn't he do it if it's off of his yellow dog? So, but there is people, I'm not going to say there's not anything bred back. So y'all please hear me when I say this. That was people that paid to breed back to David's dogs. You know, that, that, that studded from his yard. But you'll never see where David Tant was the actual breeder and owner of anything that, that, that come off of Mayday that he owned himself. You're just not going to see it. And I'm going to clear something up for you because I know it's going to be some people that misunderstood what you said. They might be they didn't ca- catch the first part of the conversation. When you said he had Mayday for Ransom, he was talking about the litter that Mayday came from. Mayday's litter from Hollinsworth Dolly. When Dolly bred the yellow, uh, um, Tant wanted to keep Hollinsworth Dolly for Ransom. The same litter that Mayday was produced from. You know Mayday, yeah. Mayday was born on that yard. Mayday was born on David's yard. Okay. The agreement okay. the agreement was was Dolly was sent down to breed the yellow. But the agreement was was David kept Dolly till Dolly had the puppies. You get what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. So yep. Until he got another three thousand dollars, neither Dolly nor Mayday went back to Hollinsworth until he got him for another I, I'm pretty sure it's three. David, if you hear me and I'm wrong on the number, don't make a fuck. You still did the people dirty and you didn't even speak to Mr. Hollinsworth. You spoke to Mrs. Hollinsworth. So, yeah, that's why there was bad blood. You'd never see Hollinsworth bring back to him again. Please, I, I want one of y'all to show me where Hollingsworth actually. And that, that speaks with Hollinsworth. If Hollingsworth produced a dog Mayday, why the fuck wouldn't he have went back and produced another Mayday or, 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 or you know what I'm saying? Anything close to it. He didn't because of the bad business deal. I know, I know this. You let me produce a Mayday. I bet you got Garen got the NT. I'm gonna try to produce three or four more. Yeah. You yep. know what I mean? And there's not another one. There's only one. And no nothing from him went back to David ever. Unless it was bought through somebody else. Or bred from somebody else. So he hated Mayday, despised him. Damn. And, and a lot of that had to do because I think Mayday was stealing Yellow's limelight. To be honest with you. I mean do you feel like, who do you feel, I mean, your opinion, who do you feel is the best dog off of yellow? Producing dogs, sorry, producing dogs. I mean, we argue about it all the time, being Mayday and Big John, but you know, you got to give Mayday his props. He, he the most famous dog off of yellow. That's what I would say. So why wouldn't they do it again? Yep, you right about that. You right about that. And we don't, but, we don't see them breeders done nowhere. No. But how many breedings like the Big John stuff do you see? Oh, you see a lot of it. But far okay. as the old schoolers, you know, the old schoolers, you know, they all had a little people, certain people they dealt with. But you're right. If Hollisworth produced Mayday off that little, why wouldn't he have came back again? Ever again. He Ever came, again. He would have came back to produce another little. He got to get another little like that again. Man, I would have sent Dolly back. Man, I, I ain't, I ain't going to say wear her ass out. But Dolly would have been right back the next time she was, you know, well ready and, and, and capable of doing it again, just for the chance of producing half of what Mayday was. Because if you were producing half of what Mayday was, you're doing good. And for him to not even do that, come on now. Yeah. It just shows there was a bad business deal somewhere in there. And that's because he shit a uh, old school dog, man. And, and, and like I said, if he's willing to shit an old school dog, man, shows up on Burns yard, castrates a dog. Come on, man. These are old school dog, man. What's he going to do to us? Mm-hmm. Well, nobody's to him. Yeah, if he do that to Burns, if he do that to Burns and Hollinsworth, 
What do you think he's going to do to us? Exactly. What do you think he's going to do to us? That's the that's the big question. It ain't hard to answer either. No. And he was continuing. And then you snitch on another uh, uh, federally testify on another, you know, well-man, known dog man. So now you done shit two good dog men. And then you federally testify on, on another one. Get immunity. Get 40 years for dog fight. Oh, no, excuse me. 30 years for dog fighting. 10 years for assault and battery, high aggravated nature for the dude getting shot. Then you turn around and pay, what, $80,000 the SPCA, get 10 years knocked off, and but you're making it home in six? Yeah. Watch out, dog world. Mm -hmm. Watch out. He so just, He just screwed it up one time. Okay, so now you're shitting patriots in the dog world that, that have been doing this, and you known did this shit, you know, you know, on another dog, man, and put him in prison. I'm going to say he put him there you know contributed to it you know you violate my personal space my personal life i watch you hang papers on dogs i watch you do this all this is facts you know what i'm saying we're not talking about just somebody that's hating we're talking about you can go back in court records or you know what i'm saying like i said please don't get upset and if you have to edit it out it's fine but mr bill you know what i'm saying you know for a fact he did you like that so and and i'm not saying he's not speaking about it or never said nothing about it but if he's willing to put a man that's watching this show, contribute to him going away, whether he had to or not, come on, bro. That right there should have cut him out of everything. Yep. Right? I mean, that should have cut him out. It should have been done. Because if it would have been a little person that didn't have money, you know, once you get a bad name in this dog world, you're done. Well, how many bad names does it take for him to give up to turn into this bad guy? Because if he's fixing to come back, Boy, y'all, I'm not saying you, but this dog world's in trouble. <laughs> because you just got federal charges lifted. You know what I'm saying? You Part of your, y'all go, matter of fact, y'all are listening to this, go Google his 5-2 vote on the, when he made parole and read the stipulations of his parole. He is never, or, or, or he's, or ever again, he is never supposed to own another dog or be associated with the pit bull breed ever again. Google it, pull it up. Is that Columbia, South Carolina? I'm pretty sure it's worldwide. Five-two vote. The first one was a. Well, that was the second vote. The very first vote, they couldn't come to a decision. The decision, so they came back. He got a five-two vote, but the stipulations was he wouldn't do it again. He wouldn't be involved. So you mean to tell me that he's just going to boldly? And now the man that prosecuted him is the fucking governor of the state. Come on, bro. Is that if that don't if if that don't read somebody's going to jail? then I don't know what is because it's not like the very first time that man's name's mentioned, he's already been in the microscope for the 30 years before he didn't get busted. Now yeah. you get busted, you're the number one, and you're going to slap these people in the face, these good old boys in the state in the face, and, and, and come back and do, do what you was doing before? You're going to slap them in the face like that? At, oh, oh, yeah, you got big balls. Matter of fact, yeah, you got huge balls. It's too much money for them to leave out here, man. Yeah, but the, the, what about the politics behind it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And then no matter mm -hmm. what we, no matter what we saying right now, it's still gonna be some people that just want to go get a dog. Bro. I love David. Let me get one. Where the fuck they been for the past twenty years? You just gonna pop up with some new shit? No, he claimed hey, he, he claimed he got yeah. friends holding it. Bro, okay, so look, check this out. For them claims, for them claims, he's got friends holding us. Check this out. Every last one of those dogs that came off of that yard, but six was euthanized. Every no, 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 no ten, because there was four that are unaccounted for. No, five that are unaccounted for. So there's eleven that made it out of the, the news report says thirty or forty. Bro, there was more dogs than that. Bro, uh, there was there was five. There was five pens that all had puppies in it. Okay, so you figure, even if there's five in the pen, that's twenty five right there, just in puppies. Then you got five mama dogs. That's thirty. Then you got pens with six month old puppies in them. I know there's one, two, three, four, five, twelve of those. So you're up to that number just in the front line. You ain't even hit the back yet. You know what I mean? And when you hit the back, it's, you know, it's a maze walking through there. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, it, I guarantee there was 45 or 50 dogs just back there. So 
the, the news reports were way off. You know what I'm saying? Something, somebody bought news reports from the word go. And, um, you know, I, I don't understand it. But like I said, y'all watch out, man. If y'all are real, true bulldog men, look at the history from before. Look at what he's done. And y'all be the bully now and man, don't let him come back. That man bullied so many people out the way, bully his ass back. Because he bought people and pushed very good dogs out the way. I mean, and, and good dog men. Because they weren't able to financially stand on what he stood on. So the dog world needs to stand together and not let this piece of shit come back. Because if you did it once, you're going to do it again. And if yeah. you shit that many good dog men and you shit people that you was eating with, you shit people that you was business partners with, you shit your manners to help and take care of everything. That's, that's what you're willing to do. Bro, that don't change. That, that, that that's, that's instilled in you. Just like the racist part that is, it's instilled in him. You don't just wake up tomorrow and say, I'm going to be racist. Yeah. You don't just wake up tomorrow and say, I'm going to get this man for all he's got. Or I'm a shit old man's Hollandworth and I'm not even going to call him. I'm going to bully his wife. Come on, man. You, I tell you what, call him bully my girl and see what happens. Shit, not only you ain't going to get your shit, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm coming in, uh, you know, you, you try to handle my family like that? Bro, that's fair game. You know what I mean? You, you don't mess with a man's money. You don't mess with a man's family. Mm-hmm. And you, know, you start bullying that, man, I, I ain't going to lie to you. Y'all can think bad for what I want. Bully my girl and, 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 and shit's going to fly somewhere. You know, and I ain't talking about no gangster ass hard shit. So y'all hate on me and think I'm going to, you know, do some dumb shit. But you, you're going to be, you're going to be buying per- fight tires for your car for the next six months. Every time you put a new one on, I'm going to come, you know, you know, you ain't going to bully my people like that. You feel me? Yeah. But, oh yeah. Oh yeah. But y'all yeah, for, for, and that, and, and I'm going to say this and, I, and I'm going to leave it alone. If the dog world lets that man come back, I'm embarrassed to say what this dog world's come to be. That's all I'm going to say about it, because if y'all, if, if, if they're going to welcome him and with open arms and, 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 and do this after you, no, uh, this is a very sad day in the dog world, the day they let him come back. As a person, the community holds no hate for you, but the Lord works in mysterious ways. The way you put that castration ban on Mr. Burns' dog was one of the worst and cruelest things any person ever done to a dog it shows you have more problems deeper than race it shows how one man can single-handedly ruin the dog game what you did by falsifying pets and your behind the back treatment of blacks and spanish brothers can be forgiven but not forgotten once you were the number one breeder in the world now you're the bottom of the barrel these young brothers aren't the guys you're used to dealing with. That's why I say your services are no longer needed in this game. You fell down the stairs, attempted to fool the police, but they knew how to look through your bullshit. I couldn't imagine if you had dogs these days, the dog thieves would eat you alive. This is a new day and age tent where the white and the black doggers ride together, die together, cry together, so we wouldn't expect you to understand what you're seeing in your face today. Thousands of people left your property thinking they were getting what they paid for. Not knowing to you, they were just a dumb nigga or a wetback that didn't need a good dog. Don't let the greed of money allow you to make the mistake of getting back in the game when so many brothers spent thousands on their yard just to find out you gave them salt when they wanted sugar. You are the made off for the dog game. A true Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This letter is for old Bob. That old dog you strung up and hung because he couldn't produce anymore. This is a letter from everyone that was a victim of your crooked ways. Please stay where you at. This isn't back in the days. And I'm sorry. You all can hate if you want. You're not. It's not the same yellow dogs that he was promoting back back then. So he is. There's no excuse to let that man back. You know what I'm saying? He was gone. He was out. He was done. These are other people that was breeding, doing away. Lift them up. Y'all want yellow dogs? Go to them. Put money in their pocket. Feed their family. Don't feed a man that's been shitting people for years and years and years. 
bully that man back and tell him you ain't coming back because look what the fuck you did. Until you can prove you didn't, we ain't welcoming you back. Prove it. I bet you I bet you it won't happen. Prove you didn't testify on Pat Bill. Please do that. Prove you didn't do it. And I'll and, and you know what? I'll shut the fuck up and never say another word again. But prove you did it. I bet you it won't happen. So uh, and I'm sorry if I've stepped on any toes, but make that man prove something. I mean he ain't gonna prove nothing. He ain't, he, he probably he probably somewhere listening. Like I say, he gonna listen to this video. He gonna he gonna look at the video. He gonna hear you talk. Well, so. if he like I said, if he hears you, David, reach out to somebody you know that may know somebody that can get in touch with Pelican Bay or whoever, and have your people get with my people. And like Biggie said, have your people get with my people. You know what I'm saying? Get have your friends get with my friends. So we can be friends. Listen. David, I will, I, you know what? I would love more than anything. If you haven't done anything wrong in this dog world, step up for an interview with me on Pelican Bay. We'll have a good old, what, 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 what do you call it? Uh, 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 what, what, when you got the election coming and, and, and we have a debate, Let, let's yeah. do that then. If you have nothing to hide, hit the like button, subscribe to Pelican Bay. Well, I wouldn't want that juju on you. Don't do that. Have one of your people that these so-called friends reach out and say, you know what, David's going, because David, guess what? You don't have to have your face on the camera. You don't have to know who you are. Meet up with me and do an interview. If you ain't truly done nothing in the dog world that I'm speaking on, then you've got nothing to hide to jump on there because there's stuff that you've already been through. So you can't say, well, it'll criminate me. No, it won't, motherfucker, because you've already been through it. So if you if you really are this man that you say you are, just step up and do it. I mean, why not? I, I listen, I know damn sure if it's the roles are reversed, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I can find out who the hell, you know, Pelican Bay Kennels is so I can call him, you know, try to defend myself because that's a that's a reputation that, that I did you defend it. So. Mm -hmm. So for him not to be. Personally firing back. That that's proof in the pudding. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. I don't care if I worked 30 years to make it to where I was to have somebody sitting on an interview telling the truth about what's going on and not try to correct it or rectify it. Yep, you're right about that. Have you, right you gotten any have you gotten anything through anybody saying, hey, you know, David saying this isn't true or anything like that? I mean, have you have have you heard anything uh, uh, along them lines? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Well, I promise you, he heard about the interview, and I promise you, he's seen it. If not the night it dropped, at least the next morning. Because yeah. I damn sure what it was said about me. Yeah. So, all you people out there supporting him, I mean, come on, logic. I I worked years and thirty years and did time in the penitentiary, and I did all. This. I'm speaking on him. Did all this, and you got a man sitting here trying to tell me the behind the scenes about my empire that I built and I'm not defending myself. There you go. Nothing else needs to be said. I mean, what you gonna do? Come back and prove it with the dog that you got from somebody else. Come on, bro. It ain't even going to be you. That's the bad thing. It ain't even going to be him to come. It's going to be somebody else. And that somebody else is going to end up in jail. Point blank. Mm -hmm. I hate to say it like that. Cause the first time he gets scared, look what's going to happen. Yeah. It's already proven. Yeah, you're right, bro. Sorry, proven. And I'm sorry if I upset anybody, but listen, that's the facts that I'm giving y'all. I mean, there's no, you just, I mean, what what would be, could you think of an excuse not to be defending yourself and your empire right now that you spent years to build? Oh, no. Honestly. Because oh, no. we no. take this shit personal. Mm. You know, we get mad. We get mad. I get mad if somebody says, man, your dog ain't off of you. I get pissed off defending it. Just my dog. Oh, We're yeah. talking about a whole 20 years worth of dogs is in question. Mm -hmm. And he's not even getting the least bit upset because guess what? You know why? He done made that money. He done spent that in canteen while he's at McDougal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's sitting back laughing at people that he done spent their hard-earned money on shitting them. He's eating goddamn Jack Mac setups. I don't even know if he's Jack Mac, but hell, I did when I was in there. You know, honey buns, soups, sodas, all that shit. All that dog man's hard on money. That's what he's spending on. 
why he's sitting back laughing. I ain't gonna say he's laughing. He's in prison. But he's sitting back laughing because he done made. They took three hundred thousand dollars from him, and it was like it was nothing. And they spent what another hundred thousand to get ten years not though, plus the forty that he spent on his lawyer. Come on, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And, and buying that five two vote, that wasn't cheap. I guarantee you. It, 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 let me. One more question, and I know I hope you don't get tired of my interview, but listen. No, go ahead, bro. One more question. Go ahead. I know more people that love their animals more than they love their kids. I hate to say that. Yeah. But you get what I'm saying? So you mean to tell me that out of seven people on a parole board panel, five of them didn't, didn't give a damn about animals, but two of them did? Come on, bro. Think about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the money involved. I mean, how many times people called the god the goddamn animal control on me because I had more than five dogs on a chain? And anywhere I moved or anytime I moved to a different county, they write back trying to look, look at my water bowls and my, my I can't use a barrel. I got to use a wooden dog house. It's got to be insulated. I got to have hay and a light. And But he got five out of seven people to say, oh, you're good. You can go. See you later. Come on, man. Politics. So y'all trust that shit if you want to. But it's done proven that money will buy you anything. And if that ain't proof, <laughs> yeah. man, y'all in for a rude awakening. But listen, I love you, bro. Um, If you, like I said, more questions are going to come with us, I know. And um, I got you. Any any means necessary. And I'll tell you what, i tell you what. This is what I'm willing to do, which I don't know if I should say this. Okay. Do you remember what I told you I'll get you a picture of? Yeah. My son? You remember what I said I would personally go take a picture of? Yeah. I don't want to put that on here because if that's heard, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that'll be Yeah, gone. don't say that, don't say that about that. Don't say that about okay, that. Okay, so listen, so listen. Give me two weeks or so because it's, 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 it's a pretty good distance for me, and, and, and I'm, 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 I'm still trying to get things right and, and, and got a lot going on. But I'll tell you what. Give me two Give me till Thanksgiving or a little bit before Thanksgiving, and I will personally take a uh, uh, take a, a, a picture of what I was talking about with me in the picture, and I will send it to you to show the world. And you just block my face out. I got you. I got you. I will personally make sure that that happens. Hey, I appreciate that, man, and I appreciate the interview, man. Um, if you be the only one that has that when I tell you this. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Okay. Hey, and any brothers have any questions, man, drop it down in the chat. Salute to all the brothers in the chat. Hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that like button before y'all get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Um, big thanks to all the Bulldogs from one side of the country to the other side, from one side of the world to the other side. Y'all stay legal out there. Y'all stay safe out there. And remember when y'all heard it first, PBK9 is giving it to you, man. Y'all stay Safe out there. I'm out. He got you picking up now. Hey, that's it.